there, here's Matthias from Interactive Asia. Um, I give you here a short introduction about Optituyo. So when you open Optituyo, that folder, then you can choose uh, which uh, version of uh, operating system you have. In that case I have a 64-bit system. I double click it and then I open here my Optituyo calibration exit. If I open that, I have here my user interface. Yeah? I go quickly through that user interface. Of course, here you can create new setups, new calibration files. You can open existing uh, calibration files. You can save uh, uh, also your created opti to your calibration files. Under view, you have different options uh, how you want to see the data in your sensor view. And we, you also can access over the view uh, menu the log file. Yeah, so if there's a mistake, if there's an error, if something is not working like you ex expect, then uh, you can go to view and open a log window and here you will get uh, a lot of information, so the log files. Um, under help, you are able to install a license and to view a license. If you have a new license, if you bought opti to your new, then you will get a license from us. Then you have to install it over the help menu. I've installed one already, so I also can go to view license and then I can see details about that license. Okay, the next step is uh, we have here our tabs, that's our in our main window. Yeah? Here under settings you have global uh, settings like language. Yeah? For now we support English, German and Chinese. Um, you can set up uh, global settings for, for your touch detector, yeah? the max tracking distance and the merge distance. We also have a manual for that, uh, where we go into details to explain that uh, that values. Under devices, you can create and add your devices. In my case, I have a Lloyd Serot 4 Plus sensor here. So if I select it and I click Start, then I get here in my uh, sensor view, I get directly the, the, the raw data of the measurement from that laser. Yeah? So I'm here now in a small office. That's uh, why you have, uh, yeah, he captures, he gives you a contour, of, a 2D contour of that room, okay? So, there's my ceiling, wall, left, right, and a couple of other stuff here, tables, chairs, here in that area. Okay, mm, when you, under the device tab, when I stop that laser and I select it here, you have that info button yeah that info button uh, will give you the serial number of your connected device that's important for us to create a license file for you so if you click here then you will get the unique serial number from the specific device so let's go on let's start the laser again after we created the, the device we have to create a screen so I go under the screen tab I click add and I have a new screen I can give him a name for example test screen in that case and then I have to give him the physical dimensions, yeah, the size of the screen. It doesn't matter if it's a video wall, a 60-inch screen, or if it is a projection, a big one on the on on on. Yeah. Um, so let's say here my physical dimension, the width of X is a meter and fifty, and the height is six hundred millimeters millimeter. Okay, and now of course my in in that setup the screen is higher. My screen is here. And uh, the laser is on the floor here. So I just offset my uh, screen a little bit more to the high, let's say 750. So and here is exactly my screen now. And I can check it if the left border is okay, if the bottom edge is okay, and also if the top edge is okay. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much everything you have to do to, uh, for the calibration. The last thing, you have to go to Outputs and you have to assign an output um, to Optitudio that he knows eh, what, what kind of protocol or what kind of application you want to control with Optitudio now. Yeah? So for now we support Tuyo, um, we support Windows Mouse and we support Windows Touch. In my case I just want to use Tuyo today. I click it, if I use it on the same machine, I uh, have here my local host, I have here my default port for Tuyo. Uh, the last thing I have to do, I have to assign that screen I created to my device in that file. And from now on, opti is working. Yeah? From now on, we really get uh, two-year outputs. 
every every red dot here on my screen. I, by the way, I also can uh, navigate here in my center view with the mouse. I can zoom in, zoom out with the mouse wheel, and I can uh, when I press and hold the left mouse button, I can uh, yeah move move my setup. That's sometimes very important if you want to make a very precise uh, calibration to a specific screen. Okay, I think that was pretty much everything. All the other features are um, yeah, mostly uh, explained with the words or with the names, uh, explain directly what they are doing. You can flip in X and Y. If you mount your laser or your sensor in the ceiling, then you have to flip it mostly in Y. Um, that's pretty much everything. Okay, I hope that helped you. And uh, for any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.